Hi, I'm Roberta. Welcome to my kitchen. Britain must have more recipes for potato than any other nation on earth. In fact, the Irish alone probably have more recipes for potato. So it was very hard to choose just one for our month of British. I'm going with champ, which is potato mixed with green onion, with a little bit of butter and some milk to make a really lovely mash. Now, if we added cabbage to that, we'd have another famous Irish dish called Colcannon. The reason I've gone with champ is it's very versatile. You can certainly serve it as a side dish, which is how it would typically be done, but it also makes a great topping for a fisherman's pie or shepherd's pie, which is what we're going to do with it. So you want a nice floury potato. I'm using Sebago because unlike a dish like our Irish stew where we want the potatoes to hold together, we want these potatoes to fluff up and mash really beautifully. So the first thing we need to do is get them peeled into the water and boiling so we can mash them. Let's do that. Now I'm impatient and I want our potatoes to cook quickly. So cut them up into fairly small chunks. Not too small because we don't want them waterlogged, but I want them to boil in about 15 to 20 minutes. And we want to give them some flavor. So a good tablespoon of salt into the boiling water. Let's get uh, into the cold water that we're going to boil them in. Let's get this onto the stove. While our potatoes are boiling, we can get our green onions ready. Now, I say six for this quantity, but if they're skinny little fellas like this, you might do eight. If they're great big fat ones, you might do four. It's not a precise recipe, it doesn't matter. Get rid of any wilted bits from the end, but apart from that, I'm going to use the whites and the greens because they all have plenty of flavor. Now these guys are so skinny they don't even need to be cut in half. So we're just going to chop them up quite finely because we want that lovely onion flavor to go right through our mashed potato. So there we are. We've got that all chopped up, white and green. We can pop that aside. And remember to already have your butter and your milk out of the fridge. Because we're adding that to the hot potato and we want to serve the mashed potato hot, we want them at room temperature, not too cold when they're hitting our potato. Let's put that aside and see how our potatoes do. So our potatoes tender and how long that takes is really going to depend what size you cut it up into, the heat of your stove, etc. I'm just going to leave it steam dry for a couple of minutes now. We'll get rid of that water. Now while that's steaming dry, in our nice hot saucepan, we'll put our room temperature butter and our room temperature milk. And might as well get our pepper in there. I like white pepper in this, but it's entirely up to you. Good pinch of salt. And now, those potatoes look nice and dry to me. You don't have to use a potato ricer. You can use an old fashioned masher if you like, but I think this is the best way to get super smooth mashed potato. So in there, while they're as hot as we can manage, you can see the steam coming off them, which is great because they're drying out. Through this, if you are using one of these, the finest holes, into the butter and the milk. Okay, there it is, the last of those potatoes. And I do love how floury the sebago are for this. So if you're not using sebago, make sure you're using something that's nice and floury. And just get all that extra potato off there and off there. And now, let me get rid of this. We've got plenty of room. We're just going to give that a good beating. Try not to be too forceful or you might end up splashing it around. A good beating with a wooden spoon to make a lovely creamy mashed potato. Now the potato rice has done most of the work for you. So it's just up to you to use a little bit of elbow grease 
to get that as smooth as possible. Now obviously if you're serving it as a side dish you want it perfectly smooth. If you're using it as a topping for the fisherman's pie which is what I'm going to do I've discovered that even if it's slightly grainy that cooks out which is fabulous. All right taste a little bit more salt a little bit more pepper in with our green onions and here we have it Irish champ as I said if you want to make cold cannon you're going to add some cabbage and there's so many other variations the Welsh have their own version I'm sure the Scots do and I'm sure the English do as well. So I like to give that another good beat once those green onions are in because we want to break them up a little bit and get their flavour through the mash. Let's get a serving bowl and plate up. Okay, and there we have it, our lovely creamy champ. Irish mashed potato studded with green onion. Okay, as soon as we finish videoing, I'm licking that pot. Irish champ, enjoy. I'm licking my finger too.